when the mask slips off the narcissist and what you're going to come to realize. So I'm going to break this down. We're going to get straight into this video. But first, right quickly, I want to say uh, this is a video request from a subscriber. So I'm going to go ahead and do this video. I'm not feeling the greatest right now. Not health-wise, like cold, sickness-wise, but uh, there's something going on in my back right now. I actually broke another record on bench. Instead of hitting 24 reps for 225 on bench, I boosted all the way up to 27 reps, and I hit it. And on that last rep, nerves and whatever else tweaked my back, and I'm not in the best mood. I'm not going to lie. Not in the best mood. It's hard to breathe. If I breathe in heavy, like, it just tweaks. It's like there's always like a pinch in my back. Anytime I move, anytime I breathe, it's just like, jeez. You just like want to crawl out of it. <clears throat> but you can't do that. You got to let it heal. It's going to take a good like month month and a week, month and two weeks until it feels 100%. And I'm not in the best mood because of that, but let me get into this video for you guys. So basically, when you see the mask slip off of the narcissist, what you're gonna come to realize is that the, the person you were dealing with the entire time, whether it be a relationship partner, whether it be whoever it is, you're gonna come to realize that that person that you thought they were the entire time did not even exist. All that potential that you thought you seen the entire time did not even exist. It just didn't. And that's what you're gonna to come to realize. And <clears throat> it's a tough pill to swallow. It's a tough thing to go through. It makes you question everything else. It makes you question like any other relationship partner that you will, you will get in touch with, get in contact with, you will start to things will start to heat up between you and somebody else and you're just going to have these thoughts like like me personally man like I I got to a point where I, I almost can't take anybody seriously anymore and it's it's sad to say that but it's true it, it, it's tough I just I, I like I take myself seriously I take myself seriously because I know me, I know what I want, I know what I do, I know who I am. But as for everybody else, it's like, they can tell you this and that, but do they really mean it? Because of a lot of time in life, and what you guys know as well, that you guys were in the mix with people that just did not mean literally anything that they said or, or stuck to. So, you gotta be patient. Very patient with individuals nowadays. <clears throat> got to be patient with everything and if you're not you're probably going to pay a price unless you get real lucky because you know what you can get lucky you can get in the right connection with somebody and it can just kick off like this and you're off to the races it can happen it did happen it does happen but not too often what does happen often is somebody gets played somebody goes through something where you know uh Things did not work out, to say the least. And probably a whole lot of other shit as well. So, like I said guys, when it comes to dealing with a narc, and the mask slips, you're gonna come to realize that that was not the person you thought they were the entire time. Tough pill to swallow, tough thing to go through. And uh, that's pretty much it. And that, like, that's pretty much it with the person. You can never look at them the same ever again. Never again can you look at that person the same. <sighs> My back is killing me, dog. Jeez. You're never gonna look at you know that. You're never gonna be able to look at the same person again. Never. Never. Because they're because they're not. You just know. You don't even know who they are at, at that point. You, you, it's like you have an idea of what they're about and the fact that you know what they're about is not attractive at all. So you easily get rid of the person. 
and you just don't know. You don't want nothing to do with them anymore. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. They did what they did. They made promises they couldn't keep. They did not live up to their potential. And you know, when the narcissist knows that you know, they're gonna have more of a distance from you as well. They're not gonna try to cover things up anymore. They're not even gonna try to lie. It's just gonna get real awkward between the two of you, to be honest, and they're gonna create more distance. You probably do too, you probably did. But they're the same, they're thinking the same thing. You, they're not, they don't want anything to do with you. And the whole time, they think it's funny. They think it's funny that they were able to do what they did to you and toy with you the entire time. They think it's funny. They're heartless. They don't care. They create other heartless people. And... You know, that's why you can't deal with them. You know what they're about when you're with them. You know what other people are about that are also narcs when you're with them as well. And when you're with healthier people, you feel a lot different. You feel like you can actually bond. You feel like you can actually trust them. You feel like they actually give a damn. And maybe not overly, but you know that it, it's in them to give a damn. And you feel alive when you're around more people that are alive. When you're with narcs. They don't even want to give you any energy at all. They're takers when you're probably a giver. They're taking everything from you. When you hang with them, if they're your friends... They're looking to just take, and not only money, not only things like that, but they want to take your soul power. They want to take, they, they, they expect you to like father them. They expect you to like do things in that nature towards them. And it's, it's ridiculous. You're going to know what they're about. Other people can actually conversate with you, keep an or keep a conversation going in a healthy way, in a healthy manner. You have another well-spoken person beside you as you are yourself. And it's it, it's it's a good time. Like, it's truly just a good time being able to be around healthier people. For real. While these individuals are, are the scums of the earth. There's just... They're, they're looking to destroy you any way they can. And they think it's funny. Like they, when you talk about this kind of stuff with narcs, they think it's funny. They really do. They don't care to hurt other people. They don't care <clears throat> to destroy other people. They don't. And some of these individuals, and you guys might disagree, but some of these individuals really don't even know they're narcs. I swear to God. Like they don't know that they think they're in a mindset that they're never going to change. They're in a mindset where who they are is not a problem. I think deep, 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 deep down, they know something might be a little off, but they're so entitled. They're so stubborn. They don't want to change. They're not going to change, and they, they don't care to hurt other people, like I said. And they think they're going to have these relationships. They think they're going to have these long-lasting relationships with these people, and, like, it's going to last. They, they have it in their head that they're going to live this fantasy world with a specific person, and they couldn't be further from the truth because they're never going to be able to keep the person. A narc can never keep a person. Never. Because the person is going to come to terms with who they are. They're going to figure them out. 
and they're going to want absolutely nothing to do with the person. I know people like this, and I just hope that they can grow out of it. Because some people never can. Unfortunately, some people just can't. It's just, it's their entitlement is what it is. They don't want to take steps back in life. And it's what you must do sometimes to grow. As I speak on this channel a million times, I've said it. you got to take steps back sometimes to grow. I've had to do it for different reasons. I've had to do it for, for many different reasons. But it's the key to growth. It's acknowledging what you have to do. Take some steps back so you can go forward. And I have no excuses. And I ain't trying to throw no pity party any single time on this channel for oh poor me anything's ever happened to me in life i really don't care what has happened to me i don't care i feel amazing today right now i don't feel the greatest obviously i can barely breathe my my, my aura my energy might slightly be off in this video because i can't it's like there's something like punctured in my back right now and it's just it's irritating. Like it's it's irritating me like 24/7 right now. It's it's not a good feeling. I'm like sweating because it, it's so painful. But other than that, I feel amazing. Um, and like I said, I'm in a bit of pain right now. But like when it comes to life, I I don't care about my past. Like I, I speak about it, but I don't care about it. Some people's like, oh, oh. Let go of your past, this and that, that and this, or whatever these morons have to say. If I ever bring it up, it's it's to it's to teach. It's to teach other people from my past experiences. Like I said, right now, I couldn't give a rat's ass what's ever happened. I'm too far past that. Way too far past that. There's too much going on today. There's too much to gain to, to, to worry about that. As far as I'm concerned... Majority of my past was a lie. It was an illusion. It wasn't real. And I'm more awakened than ever today. Awakened to everything. I'm trying to wake as many people up as possible on YouTube, in real life, everywhere. To make people realize what is what. And I'm doing a pretty decent job at it, I think. And I know what it's like to ha to not have that real to, to have real energy people around you. And I guarantee you this: there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of people in the future crying and complaining because they can't they can't get a spot beside me. A lot of people had their chance. A lot of people had their chance. There will be a time where you do not get a spot anywhere near me in real life. For some individuals. I get to pick and choose. You get to pick and choose. We do what we want. With who we want. To do it with. Is what we do. No manipulation. No BS. None of that. And it's because we, we learned our lessons. You know. Like I said. The past was an illusion. A lot of your guys' past was probably illusions. Um, but I was there. There's something about that I was still like woke to it, like a, like awakened like to it, knowing that there's better, knowing that I'm gonna do better, knowing that this isn't it. There's more, and I'm gonna get more. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, I hope this video. <laughs> can bring you guys some more insight um i'm about to cut this one off and do a video of my own but it wasn't a bad video request which is why i decided to do this rather sooner rather than later but um yeah i said pretty much everything i need to say um don't forget to like this video if you're still here if you're still watching don't forget to like this video if you don't mind um I, I'm pretty sure I want to add one more thing and I just, I kind of lost it. Um, the whole point, like, 
the whole point of my channel to this point is to really weave out the negativity, weave out the BS, weave out all the cookie cutter BS and to really live your best life. That's what it's all coming down to. That's what it, that's what it's really all about. Even if there's a video being done on negativity, it's not necessarily negativity when we're turning this negativity into a positive, which is the root of how you actually turn positive, which is what a lot of people don't understand. Oh, you do so many negative videos. How is it negative when we're breaking down what is negative to turn it into a positive? That's what some morons just do not understand. And it's like they will never understand. It's because they're always negative. And it's like they're mad that I'm exposing their negativity to turn it into a positive. You know what I mean? So that's really what it is at the end of the day. And the goal is for everybody to live a much better, more positive, more safer, more happier and loving life at the end of the day so i'm going to end the video there and i'm going to get on to the next and i'll be back <clears throat>